One of the most dramatic success stories in the history of biological control unfolded in Africa during the 1970s and 1980s. The story centers on a humble root crop called cassava. For over 200 million people across the continent, cassava is not just food. It is the primary source of daily calories, a bedrock of food security. Then, a tiny, sap-sucking insect called the cassava mealybug, Phenococcus manihoti, was accidentally introduced from South America. With no natural enemies to keep it in check, the mealybug spread like wildfire across Africa's cassava belt. The pest injects a toxin as it feeds, stunting the plant's growth and deforming its leaves, which can reduce yields by as much as 80%. The consequences were catastrophic. Scientists knew they had to find a different solution, one that was sustainable, affordable, and could spread on its own. They turned to classical biological control, embarking on a search for the mealybug's natural enemy in its native land. The search led an international team of scientists to South America, where they eventually discovered a tiny, nondescript wasp named Anagyrus lopezi. This minuscule parasitoid had evolved specifically to target the cassava mealybug. After extensive quarantine testing to ensure it posed no threat to other species, the wasp was ready for release. Beginning in 1981, scientists began a groundbreaking campaign, releasing the wasps from airplanes and on the ground across the affected countries. The tiny wasps immediately went to work, seeking out mealybugs and laying their eggs inside them. The results were nothing short of miraculous. Within just a few years, the wasp had established itself across much of Africa's cassava-growing regions. Mealybug populations plummeted, often by 90% or more. The cassava fields recovered, and the food supply for millions was secured. The program was a stunning economic success. The initial $47 million returned between $9.4 and $20.2 billion. Some analyses show $1 yielding between $200 and $740 in benefits. A more recent battle is being waged in the sun-drenched citrus groves of California, an industry worth an estimated $7.6 billion annually.